Okay guys, I woke up early Sunday morning in order to film this Beautylish unboxing. So I'm that excited. It seems like I'm the only one who ordered the regular Beautylish lucky bag. We'll see. So if you want to know what I got in my Beautylish lucky bag for 2021, then keep on watching. This lucky bag or Fukubukuru bag is Beautylicious version of a long time Japanese tradition that goes on every year where retailers and a lot of merchants actually have these lucky bags or Fukubukuru bags where they sell it for a price but the value in that bag is so much more than what you paid for. So sometimes double the amount. So a lot of retailers in Japan in January consider this as kind of like good luck for their business because the first sale of the year is always important. But for now, the ones that are available here in America that we know of so far, at least in the beauty community, is the Beautylish bag. Now they have different types of bags and different price ranges. I have the $75 bag and you're supposed to get products worth over $150. So it doubles your money. So we'll see if that's really worth it because sometimes the monetary value is not what matters, but usually it's what you consider as a person is valuable to you. There's also an Excel lucky bag, which is I believe $150 and you get over $300 worth of products. And they also have some Jeffree Star lucky bags in the 75 and $150 range. So if you're a fan of Jeffree Star, you should definitely get that next year. All of the boxes or bags are already sold out. So this is something that you purchase um, right after Christmas. So December 26th, they come out and they sell out almost within the day, like within minutes. I would say within the hour. You pre-order it and then they don't ship until the 15th. If you haven't heard of Beautylish, it's an online company. And basically, they're like an online Sephora. So they sell products new launches, a lot of high-end brands like Wayne Goss, um, Natasha Denona, and also Beautylish is like on trend. Things that are high-end that comes out, they have it at their stores. I'm excited to see what kind of variety of products we're gonna get here. Let's open her up. So are you guys excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's be for real. I peeked in. And the reason why is quick story. I have a camera in front of my home and the mailman who brought it in literally threw my box to the ground. And when he heard the sound of my box, like he probably thought something broke, he actually looked down and was worried. And I was so worried that something was broken in here and I was ready to call FedEx. FedEx, your employees, guys, every package is important. It's hard earned money and you guys just gotta take care of it. It's not just a box full of, you know, tissue paper. <laughs> I know what's in here, but you guys don't. <laughs> so here's the packaging. Um, they are well known for their tissue paper. Last year was, I think, Japanese cranes. This kind of reminds me more of like a Chinese New Year, like, you know, the red and the black. So there's a card here, so pretty. And it explains what these lucky bags are. So let's read it. Lucky bags are a Japanese New Year tradition that inspires us to create our own. The Japanese character on this lucky bag, which means dawn or daybreak, symbolizes new beginnings after a challenging year. We hope the surprises inside help you welcome 2021 with hope and light. I guess this symbol right here means dawn or daybreak so new beginnings which is so inspiring and so fitting let's go ahead and open this it was well packaged so there's a tissue there was a sticker and then let's open her up there's some more black tissue paper and the products are in here first thing that i see is this papaya bright exfoliating face mask by goldie okay 
So this is what it looks like and it's glass guys. Very pretty packaging and it was in this, you know, little bag right here. Let's see what this is all about. So it's a superfood packed with brightening ingredients. So it gently exfoliates and reveals radiant skin. I am all about exfoliation. So I'm definitely gonna try this. The brand is Goldie. So I've never heard of this brand before. Comment down below if you've heard it, but it's a $34 mask. This little jar here is $34. So I'm happy, but not like super excited. That's the thing with Beautylish. You might hear some brands that aren't necessarily, you know, sold at Sephora or Ulta. So it just depends. Oh, it's loose, guys. Oh, how interesting. I've never tried a mask where you probably have to mix this in with water. Okay, I'm not gonna open it because it has such a short shelf life. And so I'm gonna wait when I need some exfoliation done. So that's the first product, $34. This is the one that like cracked me up because why? Why? <laughs> Ardell, okay? They have Ardell in the box. Now, Okay, after I made the Beautylish purchase, I started binge watching the 2020 Lucky Bags. And I was like, oh my gosh, they suck. <laughs> sorry, 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 Beautylish. Maybe out of the 20 people that I've watched, I wanna say a good five that had really good value for their box. And when I say value, it's not necessarily like, the money value. It's like how excited I am about the product. This is $4.95 at the Beautylish website. This style too looks super weird to me. <laughs> um, super thick and short. So we'll see, maybe it might work for my eyes. I don't know. I could do without in this bag. So it's $75 and we pay $10 shipping plus tax. So in total, I paid $90. So it's not really $75, it's $90. And I have to add the shipping. That's a cost to me. And it sucks because you can actually get free shipping with Beautylish when you purchase $35 or more. So why are they making us pay for these boxes, right? I wish we didn't have shipping, then I would be more like, I don't mind getting Ardell. But if I paid $90, dang it, don't give me Ardell. Not that I hate Ardell, okay? It's a good affordable brand of lashes. I'm expecting high-end luxury brands here in this box, so. Okay, next one, this is no surprise, okay? Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. So here's what it looks like. Good Molecules is a brand that um, Beautylish actually started out. But ever since it came out, everyone has been raving about this skincare. For one thing, it's very affordable. Like I think the most expensive probably in their line is like $18. It's a very affordable skincare, but everyone is really loving it. This is like a hard plastic bottle. It's not glass. See, this one is $12. Now I'm not mad at it because Trendmood actually had like a takeover box of good molecules and I so wanted to get that if I didn't get the Beautylish. Surprisingly enough, I have been shopping around for an affordable dark spot corrector. I needed something that would remove like my acne scars quick. This is supposed to target hyperpigmentation and promote an even skin tone. And for $12, if this actually works on my acne scars, Wow, I'm excited for this. Although you guys are probably wondering, this is what she paid $90 for? Hmm. It, it gets better, it gets better. Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. Okay, we've got three products so far. And with the $75 Lucky Bag, you get seven products, you know, give or take. Um, with the $150 Lucky Bag, you get nine products, so. I haven't seen an Excel bag that wasn't good or was like a total disappointment. But the $75 one is usually a toss up. Okay, next item that I got is a Sonia G brush. So this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. I love like this kind of metallic blue. It's very shiny and it's a flat shader brush. Sonia G 
high-end brand like luxury brushes my friend queen of hearts mentions this a lot and she said that it's a game changer when it comes to makeup application and i could always use an extra flat shader brush so i'm excited that i got this this one tiny brush is 34 dollars. i'm not one to spend on brushes um not even mac brushes i think um i only have one mac brush yeah can you believe it yeah if it was me i probably wouldn't buy these expensive brushes unless they're on sale next item is an oldie but a goodie this is the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow from stila okay so this is what it looks like let's see what color i got the color stylish so i currently own one in the color perlina so this is the color that i own and this is the one that i got stylish so it's a little light gold let's see let's swatch it i'm definitely keeping this because it's kind of like a champagne gold but lighter this is 24 dollars, guys so i like the little tiny ones and they're more affordable but when they are on sale like this one i think i got it during my 21 days of beauty sale at ulta so it was half off so i don't mind paying like 12 dollars, but 24 maybe not so let's see this yeah it looks like a very light gold and ooh, 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 yes yes look at that it just it just transformed my makeup look i like it i'm happy for this although yeah there's always a but right only because this eyeshadow has been around for so long now it's good but I want something new um but if you are someone who's just starting out collecting makeup like this is a hit for sure the next one is a brand that i've never heard before it's by lena chu comment down below if you guys have heard of this brand before it's supposed to be a very luxury brand lena chu is like an oriental beauty they have a global vision so very luxurious look at this look at the packaging but there's Lena Chu right there. Um, and you open her up like that. Wow. This is definitely luxe. It even comes with a velvet case. Wow. And here is the bullet lipstick. Okay. Can you guys see? I have the color Anderson. It's a bright color, but I think I can use it. I'm definitely gonna use it. On the bullet, there's kind of like a Chinese character printed on it. Super pretty. Wow. Ooh, okay, it's like a very warm pink. This can work even for deeper skin tones like me, um, especially in the summertime. So, I'm excited to try this formula. It is $32. So what do I feel about this? Um, I've never heard of this brand before. I'm excited, but not entirely excited. Like maybe I would be more happy with a Pat McGrath lipstick. Okay, the last one in my box is from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it is their luxury palette. So that's what it looks like right there. Everybody knows Charlotte Tilbury and actually I don't own anything from her Here's the thing with me. Okay, although I have a good amount of makeup collection, maybe more than the average person I have way way less makeup collection compared to the average youtuber or um you know makeup guru out there really um and it's because i'm very selective with what i buy i know what i want and i also pay attention to my budget so that's a big part of of how i decide what what to buy and what not to buy i don't like collecting a whole lot of items unless i absolutely love them so i've been wanting to try charlotte tilbury she has tons of these luxury palette quads so i'm curious what mine is called i think it's the ombre squad so let's see what it looks like it looks very pretty but very neutral so um, i don't know i don't know this is believe it or not and this is the reason why i don't buy her quads it's 53 dollars. okay um my pat mcgrath 
palette was $75 and it had like 18 colors in here. And for four colors for $53, it just didn't make sense to me, especially if they're very neutral like this. So let's go ahead and swatch. It's not powdery. It's not like super creamy. Was that good? Oh, yeah. I gotta say, this is something that I would definitely use. These are my day-to-day -day colors. See, like why would I have two of the same kind? Very similar, these two. This would definitely be a good travel palette. Like if this is all you're gonna use on a day-to-day, -day, maybe you're going on a work trip, business trip. Come on! <laughs> Do, they all look the same to me. What do you guys think? I have no issue with the formula. It's smooth, there's no fallout, it's perfect. And I wouldn't expect anything less for $53, especially for a brand like Charlotte Tilbury. All right, what do you guys think? Did I get the real lucky bag? I don't know. Should I call this the unlucky bag? <laughs> Uh, in case you guys are wondering, the total of my box is $190. So the palette is $53. These two are in the $30 range. This is also $30. $30 lipstick. Um, you know, Ardell, whatever. And then <laughs> Good Molecules. I like it. I got double what I paid for, which is not bad, but... I wouldn't buy these myself individually at regular price. So it just depends. What am I most excited for? I want to say I want to say the good molecules, the brush and Charlotte Tilbury. How do I feel about this? I don't I don't think it's worth $90. Sorry. What do you guys think of my lucky bag? What is your favorite? Comment down below. Would I do this again? Probably not. Um, I've seen the Jeffree Star palette for $75 and there was just so much more value there. Next year, I'm definitely going to get the Tatcha Fukubukuru bag. Um, in case you guys are wondering what that is, watch my good friend Vanessa from Vanessa Beauty. She just posted her Fukubukuru bag from Tatcha. It's a skincare brand high-end super high-end i was debating between beautylish and tatcha at the time um okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there so definitely check it out i do have a giveaway that's still currently running it is going to end on january 20th if you are into perfumes check this video out and you can enter that giveaway there so with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!